Hi, I'm Spencer Dale, Chief Economist at BP, and welcome to another episode of Energy Illustrated. If you're new to this, here's how it works. In each episode, I talk briefly about an issue from the world of energy, while Samang and Callum illustrate the issue to help bring it to life. Today's topic, power markets, the electricity we use and how it's generated. Power markets are central to the global energy system today. Almost 45% of all the world's primary energy goes into producing electricity. And over the next 20 years, power markets could absorb as much as three quarters of the increase in primary energy. The vast majority of the growth in power demand over the next 20 years is likely to come from the developing world. As prosperity rises and hundreds of millions of families gain better access to electricity. Today, over 800 million people that's over 10% of the world's population, are estimated not to have access to electricity. Just imagine not being able to turn on your lights when you get home tonight, or your children having to study in the dark. There's still a long way to go to electrify the world. Power markets are also central to the transition to a low carbon energy system. They are the single largest source of carbon emissions from energy use, accounting for around 40% of emissions last year, and around half of the increase. It's also where renewable energy, wind and solar power, enter the energy system. Indeed, the power sector is where carbon emissions can be most efficiently and cheaply reduced over the next 20 years, helped by the fact that many different forms of energy, coal, natural gas, wind and solar power, compete side by side in power markets, such that small policy changes can have big impacts. As the world moves towards a net zero emission system, An important part of that transition will be to electrify as many end energy uses as possible run by zero carbon power. It's quite possible that as much as two thirds of all final energy uses could be electrified in a net zero world. But electrification without decarbonizing the power sector is of little use. And despite the considerable potential to decarbonize the power sector, the world has made very little actual progress over the past 20 years. Indeed, the share of coal in the global power sector in 2018, at 38%, was unchanged from its share 20 years ago. Even more remarkably, the same is true for non-fossil fuels. Yes, wind and solar power have grown very rapidly in recent years, but that's been offset by the declining role of nuclear energy. Electrification with decarbonisation is hard, particularly in the developing world where power demand is growing rapidly. For example, in both China and India last year, renewable energy increased by over 25%. Extraordinary growth. But that wasn't sufficient to even match the growth of power demand. As a result, coal consumption in both countries' power markets increased in 2018. Continued rapid growth in renewable energy, wind and solar power will be critical to decarbonising power markets over the next 20 years, but it's unlikely to be sufficient on its own. Instead, many fuels and technologies are likely to be needed for many years to decarbonise power markets, including widespread coal to gas switching, increasing adoption of carbon capture use and storage, CCUS, efforts to improve energy efficiency, especially in rich developed economies where levels of electricity consumption are already very high, and new technologies and processes such as hydrogen, biomass with CCUS and improved batteries for energy storage. It's easy to take the electricity that many of us enjoy each day for granted and not think about where it comes from or how it's generated. But power markets play a critical role in global energy markets today and are likely to play an even bigger role in the future as the world transitions to a net zero energy system. Oh, really well done, guys. That looks really great. Well done. No problem. There's a lot to get across. I really like the way you sort of emphasise the importance of power markets for the entire global energy system and this sort of electrification with and without decarbonisation, the happy and the sad face. Really nice. Thank you. Thanks. We'll be back soon to illustrate another key topic from the world of energy. Thanks for watching.